Next problem. A train starting from a railway station and moving with a uniform acceleration attains a speed of 40 kilometers per hour in 10 minutes. Let's uh, consider one is the time is given and also so the velocity is given. So initial velocity is uh, equal to what I can even consider zero. But it reaches the final velocity. Final velocity is equal to v 40 kilometers per hour. Let us convert this into what here? Meter per second. So what you have to do is 40 into. So there is a one easy method is there to convert this particular thing. So we can divide by 5 divided by what is that? 18. So what we get is that is equal to the final velocity is equal to so 11.11 meter per second. This is the final velocity. Now the time is given. T is equal to how much? 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes is given. So the 10 minutes is nothing but what here? 10 into 16. That is equal to what we get? 600 seconds. Now we have a one a simple formula. So that is an equation of motions. B is equal to what is that? Q plus AT. I want to know about the acceleration of this. Find acceleration. Find acceleration. What is A? A is equal to what here? One. So therefore, A is equal B minus of U divided by what is that? T. So therefore A is equal. So we already know that uh, the final velocity that is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1 minus of this is equal to 0 divided by what is that? 600. So therefore A is equal to. So acceleration is equal to 0 0.0185 <coughs> meter per second. So let us go to fifth problem. A bus starting from rest moves with a uniform acceleration, that is A is given, of 0 0.1 meter per second square for how many minutes? Two minutes. So therefore, the two things are given here. The one is called as an audion. Acceleration of the body is given as audion. 0 0.1 meter per second square is given. Then what the time is given? The time is equal to two minutes. 2 minutes, that is equal to 2 into, what is that, 60, that is equal, let us convert this into what is the second, so what you will get, 120 seconds, 120 seconds. Now, we require to find out the speed, speed is in sense uh, the velocity. So what is the formula we have to use it for first one, V is equal to U plus, what is that, AT. So therefore acceleration is there, the time is there, u is not given, that is u is considered as what here? A zero. Therefore the v is equal to zero plus k means what? 0 0.1 into what is the time is 120 seconds. So that's for v is equal to. So we will get uh, 12 meters per second. Okay. Now we have uh, the second uh, what to find out here? The distance. Distance is nothing but we require to find out S. S is equal to what? So therefore, now we have one simple formula in equations of motion. V square is equal to U square plus 2 Yes. We require to find out yes. V is already identified. That is equal to 12 square is equal to 0 square. 0 square in the sense what here? We don't know the initial velocity of this. 2 into what is the A? A is already given as 0 0.1, 0 0.1, we have to find out what is that S. So therefore, S is equal to, S is equal to. So therefore, we can able to find out like this, S is equal to, 12, 12 is equal to 144, you already know that 144 divided by, so let us divide this by 0.2, therefore S is equal to, if you divide this one, so what we get is 720 meters. So 720 so meters. So this is what. So let us go for the sixth problem. A racing car has a uniform acceleration. Acceleration is given as uh, of uh, so the meter per second square, four meter per second square. What is the distance will it covers in ten seconds? 
Okay. So the time is given here. Another one is an acceleration. A is given here. So let us consider like this. A is nothing but what here? Four meter per second square. Another one is time is given as directly the ten seconds is given. So therefore, we need to find out uh, distance. So here we have a distance here. That is nothing but a what here? S we need to find out. So therefore, S is equal to what? So therefore, we have a simple formula. The S is equal to U T plus half A D square. So S is equal to U means what? Don't know. So therefore, zero. Therefore, time we have whatever it may be the time, then its entire thing will become zero. Half into a means what here? So a is four a into what is the time is given here? Ten seconds. Ten. So we can keep the ten here also because it becomes a zero. I can't take it. So therefore, now ones or two twos, it goes. The s is equal to okay hundred. Hundred into twos are so it becomes what here? Two hundred. So it's a distance. After it starts, two hundred meters. So these are the some problems of that. So you please try some more problems in the NCERT book. Okay. So if you have any queries regarding this, okay, please uh, go for what DMCS online queries uh, gmail.com. Okay. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you.